Previously, we were talking about loopback devices, the loopback network device on your system. So right here, I've started up a simple little server using NC. Uh, I opened it up on my port 1234, but you see that I'm using Dash L and I'm saying to use my personal loopback IP of 127.0.0.1. Now, if I was to come in here and I was to say nmap and I give it my IP address, this is the IP address of the same machine. You can see it right here in my, my little bar down here at the bottom. And I say, check port 1234, it's going to say it's closed. But clearly we have it open and running. That's because even though I'm on this local machine, giving it that IP address, it's using, in this case, my Wi-Fi card. Now, if I was to run the same thing, but say local host, it's going to loop, use that loopback device and it will see that port as open. Now, if I start that server up again, because once one thing connects to it, it disconnects. So we can say, local host and what that's really changing it it's saying here is to use 127.0.0.1 which is again on our loopback device so if i run that it's going to say that it's open but if i'm running that server and on a remote machine or even on this machine i use the ip address it's not going to see that port as open. So I can run this service securely and I can even do things that are not encrypted on it and no one will be able to sniff that traffic or even see the port or access the port in any way because it's on the loopback device. The only way they can do it is if they're currently on my system, which if someone's on my system and trying to sniff my network, I'm already in a lot of trouble.